What's going on everybody? Bob's so 1984 back again and another video another fucking review on a another non performance again. Newcastle have been beaten one nil away to West Brom and you know this one leaves a particularly bad taste in the mouth to be fair. Because I said in my video before the game, I said, you know, you lose this one, you're setting yourselves up to be fucking relegation cannon followed by the middle of January. And we are. And it was one of those just... One of those performances where, I mean, I had decent pockets to play. All the build-up going down the right again, absolutely fucking clueless, nothing down the left. It's so blindingly obvious. And anybody who's a football manager of a new of a club that's preparing to play Newcastle can obviously see how Newcastle play football. Everything's down the right man. It's just it absolutely garbage man. It's it's so boring. And you know I mean the goal we've conceded the day was 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 a header and obviously the put the keeper making his debut to be fair he looked shaky our game. You know, he, he, he gets two hands to it, but it, it squirms under him and it goes in. It, 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 but you're losing games to that. You're losing football games to to teams like West Brom, who who are, are going to be where you are at the end of the season. And, I mean, look at Stoke. Stoke have beaten fuck Everton 4-3. And, and, and... And I know we played all right against Everton the other day, but what I'm trying to say is, how can other teams score goals against these teams and Newcastle can't? Because what's blindingly obvious is there's not enough creativity going forward in that team. Um, I said before the game, I said I thought Perez and, and Mitrovic, or, you know, the, Wijnaldum, they, they all needed big games. And we didn't get a big game from any of them. Sissoko, quiet, does the same thing all the time. Whether it's the tactics, whether it's just the players kind of be fucking arsed, whether it's just both, whether it's just, you know, the manager's, been, you know, coming up with nothing that's fresh. You know, Tony Prudis sends his team out to watch that game yesterday from Boxing Day against Everton and says, right, everything's down the right, make sure you cut them off. If you do that, Newcastle United are fucked. There's absolutely no way back if a team figures out how to play football against you. And it seems like everybody knows how to play football against Newcastle at the minute because they only ever use one side of the pitch and it's always down the right. There's nothing going down the left. Maybe that's why you shouldn't be playing when you down the fucking left. But I, I mean, a game of absolutely hardly, in, you know, that, how West Brom, weren't, West Brom didn't score in the first half, I'll never know. The amount of chances they had, the amount of blocked challenges that Newcastle defenders came up with. Paul Dummett must have had three or four. You know, putting his body on the line, Colaccini saving one off the, off the line in the first half. I mean, how way, man, for fuck's sake, you played West Brom, you're not playing Real Madrid. How can teams like West Brom carve you open at will, time and time of fucking gain? Without anything going forward. I mean, there's a few. We had a little spell in the first half where it was a good five minutes where every single challenge was down the right, as I've been saying. And and we didn't get anything. We just we didn't test their keeper at all. And, you know, the only chance of note is, 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 is a, a, a chance in the second half where we hit the post. But, I mean, you, you know what I mean? You. you we're just setting ourselves up for another shit end. That you know, another shit season. We know we had a good little run. You won two games in a row where you didn't expect to get fuck all, and now we've lost two games where we should have at least been picking up maybe two draws, but we've lost them both because we've not done enough to do anything in the in in. Well, I'm not going to say the Everton game, but in terms of this game, we've not done enough, and it's just. So fucking blindingly obvious what's going on. Why can't I, why can I see it and nobody else who's who's paid money at that club can see it? And you'll come out after the after the game with an interview. Fucking oh, we we, we gave all the effort. We we tried and yeah, effort and trying are fine, but there's no end product. 
you're not going to get anywhere if there's no end fucking product. And if I can see that, and I'm just some fucking arsehole who sits in front of a camera every week doing these reviews on Newcastle United performances, and I can see it, how can I see it? And, and it's so blatantly obvious that nobody in that club who is a coach or a manager can see what I see. Oh no, it's fine, we'll prod along, we'll, we'll, sort, we'll get back on the training ground and we'll put it right for next week. Well, you just never do. You know what I mean? It, now we're, we're firmly entrenched in the relegation battle. We'll play Arsenal away next and we'll get fucking humped off them. Probably Man United will have a new manager by the time they come to St James's and we'll get absolutely fucking humped by them as well. I mean, I can't even play, pick a, a man in the match. I can't. And, uh, and can you? If you can, leave a comment. You know, what, what do you think is going to happen? As far as that am saying, we're a fucking shit creek and we're going to fucking paddle. Never mind. Anyway, I can't really say any more. I've had enough. <laughs> and that's, you know, two games. So, well, today especially, a game, a chance where we could... You know, get a win and, and get out of that fucking relegation zone before we play these next two games and it's gone and it's just it pains us to to sit here and say that like we're in fucking shit anyway if you like the video leave a like please subscribe obviously for the future hopefully you'll be fucking happy our videos in this and i'll see you all later